Gonioscopy. Okay. So it differentiates between open angle and angle closure glaucoma. Now this patient is made to sit on the slit clamp like this and this instrument is our gonioscope. You first anesthetize the patient's eye with a local anesthetic and place this instrument in a dimmed out light conditions because the pupil needs to be in normal size for gonioscopy. Pupil should be of normal size. Pupil should not be dilated. Otherwise, you cannot perform your gonioscopy. Okay. So, the prerequisites of gonioscopy are a clear cornea and a normal pupillary size. The, both of these can be asked as a question. Okay. Next, what will you see is this. This Something like this you will see when you do a gonioscopy to a patient. Now, what are these structures? It's very confusing and you can't really make out what you're looking at. Let's try to understand these structures. So, the structures that lie in the normal angle are visible on your gonioscopy. These are the schwa line. That is the outermost structure that you are seeing over here. See, this is the schwa line. Now, this is the angle that I will see in gonioscopy. So, schwa line is the outermost and it represents the termination of decimates membrane near the on the cornea. Okay, the next structure is the trabecular meshwork. The second structure that I will see is the trabecular meshwork followed by the scleral spur and the deepest structure is the most inside one is the ciliary body. Okay, so this is the uh, Schwabe's line followed by trabecular meshwork and then the scleral spur and the ciliary body. One behind the other, you will be able to see. Depending on what structures you have able to visualize you will grade the angle and uh, uh, decide whether the patient is predisposed to angle closure or not now you can see that this is the iris okay this is the iris and this is the cornea okay the iris is far behind in this state and all of my angle is open so this is grade 3 and 4 we classify this as a open angle and the measurement of this angle is about 30 to 45 degrees and such patients are not predisposed to glaucoma at all. So, as the iris keeps moving forward, the angle size decreases from 20 degrees to 10 degrees and 0. Accordingly, it's grade 2, grade 1 and grade 0. Now, let's understand and try to memorize. So, the grade 4 is when it is 35 to 40 degrees open, all the four structures are seen. Uh, what are the structures? They are the Schwabe's line, trabecular meshwork, scleral spur and ciliary body. Schwabe's line, trabecular meshwork, scleral spur and ciliary body in this order. Okay, that is grade 4. Then uh, grade 3 is 30 degrees from below. Ciliary body is not visible. Uh, scleral, uh, scleral spur, trabecular meshwork and Schwabe's line are seen. This angle also does not close. Followed by then you cannot see the scleral spur only visible is Schwabe's line and trabecular meshwork and this patient can progress to angle closure glaucoma. So, grade 2 can progress to angle closure glaucoma. Then grade 1 obviously will have a very high risk of angle closure glaucoma and the only structure seen is your Schwabe's line. Grade 0 is that the patient is presently in an episode of angle closure. That is, you cannot see anything, even the Schwab is line and it is an emergency condition. Okay, now let's come to the management of open angle glaucoma. Okay, the management is mostly medical management in open angle because surgical management is uh, limited to angle closure because uh, medical management, any type of medical management is not going to help you open an angle that is closed in angle closure. So, medical management is primary modality for open angle and surgical management is the main modality for angle closure glaucoma. Let's see, there are two types of drugs. The ones which increase the outflow and ones which decrease the production of your aqueous humor. Either you 
remove the excessively collected aqueous humor by increasing the outflow or you decrease the manufacture itself okay that is you decrease the production itself so only two types of drugs will increase your outflow that is pilocarpin and prostaglandin analogs and the drugs that reduce are uh, beta blockers and carbonic anhydrase inhibitors both the drugs with p will increase outflow op outpatient outflow outpatient is for outflow and p stands for pilocarpin and prostaglandin analogs just so that you don't get confused in the exam okay then the surgical management when the uh, above medical modalities don't work is argon laser trabeculoplasty and your trabeculectomy hello everyone this is dr sai suguna your mentor for ophthalmology at medicoab now thanks for watching the video now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app the trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below